All right, guys, here we are. First ride on the Indian FTR 1200. First of all, let's go ahead and do a quick walk around. We've got this cool metallic gray paint. I don't know if it'll show up in person with the maroon reddish kind of signature Indian accent. Um, the bike is really classy looking. Um, other than that, let's just dive into the screen here. So the one cool thing that I found right off the bat about these is the screen is touchscreen. So it's really cool. So the gauges come up on here to look through your rev ranges here. It revs out at 10, engine temperature, odometer. I have it in sport mode right now, but to change that you pull this trigger up here and you can change touchscreen to rain, standard, or sport. Also, it can connect to your phone and to your music from the screen up here. So, I'll have to see looking into this whether what it does with the glove. Actually, it works with your glove. That's awesome. So, if you don't want to pull the trigger, you can just press this left button on it here. You have brightness up here. Works with the glove. Like it's it's based on pressure, not like an iPhone screen, so you can use it with your gloves on. If you go to settings, and scroll through here, you go through Bluetooth devices, even change your themes to, I'm using my gloves here, set time to GPS, oil life, and you can go through diagnostics and everything in here. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and go back, pull the trigger to go back to it, and let's give it a go. I'm excited about this thing. I've been waiting a long time for this. So, this thing has 123 horsepower, 87 foot pounds of torque, and it's an Indian bike that almost feels like I'm on um, a Ducati Scrambler or a Monster. It feels really cool. Really good. So, we're going to see kind of what it's made of today. It's really smooth, not yippy. Even I'm in sport mode right now. Oh man, this thing's gonna go, I guarantee it. Wow, big, big speedometer. <laughs> it feels really comfortable, flickable for that matter. So, don't have to worry about it feeling bulky. This does not feel like your average Indian, let me just tell you that. I believe prices on these range from 13 to 16 based on package. Don't quote me on that. It's just what I believe I've seen. Um, Indian has plenty of information about these on their website. Um, just to let you guys know, I am at Garcia Moto today. This is the first FTR they've got in. It's a demo bike. You can come by with a valid motorcycle endorsement and intend to buy and ride one of these and this is one of the <laughs> one of the first ones out on the road so if you want to buy this one it can happen i'm going to take it down my favorite back road give it some juice holy my front wheel's coming up holy crap as smooth as all get out man love this the power delivery is it's very smooth but it's controllable even though I'm in sport mode right now oh it's so fun oh it the sound though <laughs> I'm like a guy and a freaking little kid in a candy store right now I've ridden some cool bikes today this is a great day and I know I've been saying every day is a great day recently but man you need, you do need to come ride this bike. And I'm gonna turn around here. Turning radius is ridiculously good. A lot better than anything else I've taken down this little beaten road. Kicks in the gear. Oh my god. Oh. Woo! Oh yeah. Dirt. Man, it, it feels so
so much different than the other naked bikes that I've ridden like the S1000R and the Ducati Monster. It may f feel a little bit similar sitting on it, but this thing is super comfortable. I believe the seat height is around 33 inches, um, which is standard pretty much for a bike like this. The wheelbase is 60 inches. And like I said, horsepower is 123, 87 foot-pounds of torque. That is, a, that is a big number for a bike this size from Indian. Gosh, it feels good. The front end feels so light. <laughs> so we're gonna, you know what we're gonna do now, we're gonna have to take it up on the highway. You hear that? Oh. <laughs> it sounds so good. This thing is angry. So I love the screen. It's color. Um, your gas range says a number plus it has, you know, an LED or an indicator on the screen that's blue of how much mileage you have left. So I have 30 miles left. Um, Over here, I have, let's see, I have cruise control set right here. Looks like press it in to turn it on. Yep, and then you put it up and down. Also have a joystick. Oh my. So that switches in between another interface. What does it go to the right or left? So if you don't want to touch the screen, you can control everything from this button over here. Um, you got your horn as well, turn signal, right, left, and then push in to disengage. Man, the interface on these is awesome. Like, I don't think I've seen an interface this intuitive in a bike like this before. Now, the Monster one is color, but it's not, like, this is touchscreen. Are you kidding me? And it's pressure touchscreen, so you can do it with your glove on. And that might be your first question, is if this thing has a touch screen, what's the point? Because I always wear full finger gloves. You can do it with the glove just fine. Hey man. It feels like a bike that would be super easy to whip around some back roads, take up to the mountains, or just your everyday commute. It's tame enough for that if you switch it down to a mode. Even I'm in a sport mode right now, it's completely fine. So let's take it back real quick to standard mode. And I'm gonna see what the throttle feels like there. Also turn your brightness on auto, so you don't have to change it. I guess there's a sensor for the sun, how much sunlight there is on it. Oh my, you have a USB right there to charge your phone. Wow. USB integrated into the screen. That's cool. Okay, it's a little bit more forgiving in the standard mode. But guess what? I don't feel very forgiving today. We're gonna go back to sport mode. It looks like you have to lay off the throttle to switch modes. I'm gonna go back, I'm back. I'm gonna go up to switch my interface. I even have a, uh, a compass at the bottom, knowing that I'm going onward to southwest. I like this screen too. Oh, it sounds so good. Sounds like it's it's a, like an uptuned cruiser engine that's smaller than something on your bigger Indian bikes, but it. It's like this exhaust sounds so good and, and this bike is stock. Man, I can't wait to get this on the highway to see what it feels like. Oh my, come on, Hank. Come on, Hank. Why are you driving a car with mom on the back? I really hope this isn't a woman. See how it pops back when I shift in sport mode? Yes, that's what I live for. If you are in the Raleigh area, come on by this weekend and drive one of these, seriously. 
Actually, drive this one. <laughs> if you're a woman, I'm upset with you. You're a man. You're a little guy. You're a little boy. We're gonna see what it feels like on the highway. We're gonna do a little downshift. It's gonna be good. It feels good going around the corner. So I'm at like 6K right now. Let's give it some gas. Woo! Oh my god! Woo! Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, 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 done. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. This is on an Indian? What the heck? <laughs> this feels like a sport bike. Oh, any of you Indian guys? Up. Any of you Indian guys are gonna die riding this thing. I swear. The wind isn't too bad. Like obviously there isn't a windscreen on this bike, but it's not horrible. Now I'm feeling a little bit in my helmet, but that's gonna happen. Turn signal is in the right spot. I didn't even have to look and never never done it on this bike and it was there. commented on brakes yet. Let's do engine brake test first. Engine braking, gonna rev up, go down. Engine braking is great. So I haven't even braked yet and I'm slowing down enough. Yeah, I love this screen. Gear indicator is on both, so I'm in second gear. I'm gonna go down here. We're gonna go hit this highway one more time. Man, this paint, if you can't see it, hopefully you can. It uh, has a flake in it, a com um, some sort of metallic flake, and then transitions to red. It's like, it's the perfect color. You have to see this color in person. It's a sexy color. You just gotta, you gotta know. Thing has torque, torque, torque. Holy smokes! Oh, it just wants to go. This pop back is awesome. I think I'm gonna get up to speed here in a second. We're gonna try it out. Three, two, one. Lift off. Yes. Yep. Woo, woo. Okay. I don't think I've ever barked in a video before, so <laughs> you know this bike is fun. <laughs> oh god. Uh. Seat is really comfortable. There is a spot for a passenger on this one. It, uh, there's a spot in the seat that holds my butt in place, which is great because on a bike like this, it's really easy to feel like the bike's gonna yank you off. But this one doesn't. It really holds you in firm. You feel like you're not gonna go anywhere. I can't believe how much power this thing has. I was not expecting this to feel like, I mean, it's, if I had to compare it directly power comparison and torque wise, I would say this is right there at like a monster 1200. Now I may be overshooting or undershooting there, but I'm just saying what it feels like is that this thing does not feel like an Indian. <laughs> it wraps to 10, like, when has that happened before? 
they knocked it out of the park with this. I can't tell you how much this bike slays other bikes in this style that I've ridden. It's, and again, it's not too crazy that you couldn't, you don't have to run it like I just ran it on the highway. Like I I ride a lot of bikes, trust me. I'm, I'm trying to show you guys what, <laughs> what this thing can do potentially you don't have to ride it like that you really have to bring this thing up but in that regard i was in sport mode giving it pretty much full throttle on each gear and front tire was coming up i mean it's got torque i'm excited for everyone to ride one of these because it's killer this is a new generation of indian bikes right here man next generation guys it's been fun i'm not gonna wear this wear this one out too much for you but come on by this weekend at garcia moto this bike just got here yesterday and it's ready to go <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for checking the video out. If this helped, let me know. Hope that you guys have a great rest of the day. And come on in and check this bike out.